Welcome back everyone. This is Hari Raj, CEO at Enworks. A B2B SaaS platform that's helping leaders and managers across the world work on their goal achievement in the flow of work. So, I think in the last few episodes we spoke quite a bit about the goal setting and performance. In fact, in the first uh session of this leadership studio we spoke about the gap between goal setting goals and performance so we spoke a bit about the hype around performance and performance products in the enterprise these performance products that have been around for so long how they are essentially focused on goal setting and is that enough i think we spoke about the fact that that's simply not enough we need to deal with the skills skills are understanding of the mental models are necessary for leaders and managers to be effective so therefore we concluded that what ceos and chros are looking for is a solution that not just enables uh, individuals through tools but also really builds their ability so that was really what we spoke about in the first conversation in a subsequent conversation we spoke about the bridge to goal achievement what is the single most important element to bridge the gap in leadership goal achievement we spoke about how leaders and managers and specifically any individual needs to really build a habit of preparation towards critical activities and easier said than done but figuring out how to actually build that habit is a very very critical element and that kind of pulls multiple things together in terms of goal achievement Uh, after that we spoke about how do we build that bridge towards goal achievement and there we spoke about thinking leading and doing as a basic unit of goal achievement at a very macro level leadership and really improvement in leadership effectiveness is all about thinking about the expansion in thinking leading and doing at a micro level it's all about how one prepares for critical activities performs them and then really reflect on it to figure how to actually improve upon it the next time it, it occurs through this in a in a way tiny habits around prepare perform and reflect is at the heart of what we think of as a network way of leadership called network ship that's what we spoke about so far and today really i want to start to think a bit about uh, how does n work as a platform for goal achievement as a leadership toolkit uh, how does it bring all these things together so interestingly enough market has many solutions uh, when it comes to improving business performance when it comes to improving employee performance when it comes to thinking about performance of the team and so far based on what i have seen broadly all of these solutions take one of the two approaches the more conventional approach is through the lens of programs now these could be programs that are run heavily based on content so we have seen significant number of university programs leadership programs that have brilliant content brilliant uh, exposition of frameworks mental models and these things uh, have been around for so long and we have taken multiple approaches to it when we think about this uh, programmatic approach to to solving this problem uh, however one characteristic that at least i have seen through my years uh, both in corporate experience as well as uh, in the open market when it came to dealing with leadership development and uh, performance improvement has been that with most of these programs effectiveness and scalability scalability always been an issue and when i say that some of these programs are very scalable but effectiveness of of them are highly questionable especially when it comes to content based approaches so i think uh, many of you probably have heard about the fact that we are moving into a post content era uh, not just when we are talking about uh, employee performance and workforce performance even in the space of education so there is this big moment about uh, us being in the post content era and for a uh, absolutely right set of reasons because for a longest period of time content heavy solutions have dominated these domains 
and the biggest reason for it is the fact that content based approaches are inherently scalable especially when you apply digitization of content you have an ability to slice and dice things you have an ability to uh, deliver that content through different media all of this helps for us to actually make solutions scalable but what has been always suspect is their effectiveness when it comes to shift in behaviors of leaders team of managers i think we have always struggled uh, which is probably one of the biggest reasons this hot trend about coaching based solutions have been taking off typically the coaching based solutions have not been very effective uh, very scalable but at the same time they have always been effective they have been very good in those one on one transactions to really help leaders figure out how to plan for changes how to plan for improvement in their leadership effectiveness how to manage their stress how to manage their time all of these are things that coaching transactions coaches are able to address but scalability of such solutions have always been suspect now there is obviously a lot more uh, things happening in the very recent past wherein we are starting to see emergence of solution that actually solve the scalability problem so that looking at everything through the lens of program now almost orthogonal to this is the alternate perspective which is looking at everything through the lens of tools so you see a series of tools whether that's tools in the form of employee survey whether that's tools in the form of just pure play assessment whether it's uh, tools in the form of uh, manager check-ins tools that enable uh, managers to send out uh, uh, messages prompting for feedback all of these are really built from a lens of figuring out how can i give managers and leaders and perhaps team tools that that can that they can work with on a daily basis now when it comes to the tools the biggest challenge is figuring out two things right one i think uh, the element that i spoke about in one of the earlier session tools absolutely enable individual but it does not always help individuals build ability to do certain action and that's really where most of these tools or probably all of these tools fall short second element of it is a bit more very human right the human psychology that resists change really also resist the adoption of tools in the right way those are the two approaches the programmatic approach and the tools approach are the ones that are be today the performance market solutions in the leadership development market and uh, as i said these are kind of the inherent limitations uh, to these approach last 7 years or so we are working on a set of design started to look at these two orthogonal approaches and ask this fundamental question what if we could have a converged approach that can actually produce outcome an approach between this programmatic approach and the tools approach we have been actually coming out with various designs that essentially almost melds merges the two approaches together and we said look enabling the managers is absolutely the key to business performance improvement and to enable the manager you cannot just really just use a tool manager she is enabled by a combination of tool and ability so you got to take an approach that helps to enable the manager through a tool based approach and quote unquote able the manager through a programmatic approach and that's really what we have been working on i don't think it's Uh, it's it's rocket science but what has been very interesting is te- technology really just makes it happen makes it possible i don't think the idea itself is something which is very new but what is really helping us kind of break it open and make it happen is really the fact that tech allows a lot lot more things a lot more interaction uh it kind of breaks open the certain closed rooms if you will in terms of uh, possibilities so it breaks open a lot of closed doors 
and it opens up a new set of possibilities and that's really how we have been able to bring these two approaches together we have been working with program based designs so or programmatic designs that are very effective for adults to learn adults to develop so one of the key things that we uh, really believe in is ensuring that we are working with development journeys and we are never working with development events in isolation so the second thing is we essentially want to ensure that we are crafting these journeys in a way that's very outcome oriented and so now you got two major elements one you got to think about a development journey that's almost a, an experience that's getting uh, orchestrated for leaders managers uh, teams out there which could span several weeks or several months and that conventionally is a very hard one uh, for most individuals most firms to deliver to to leaders and managers primarily because there is this issue of engage i think today we have the ability to solve those things through digital approaches so engagement we are able to crack it while thinking about journey that actually have an outcome orientation so that all of that is really using programmatic principles or program based approach is what we are essentially taking and what the technology is helping us drive is to ensure that the the planning of that journey the orchestration of that journey the nudges that drive that journey the habit building that goes into it all of that is dr- really driven through that digital technology second aspect of it is to recall that the orthogonal approach of how do you actually take a very tool based approach now what the tool based approach is bringing this development journey into the flow of work and this is at the heart of what we do so it's all about development it's all about leadership development goal achievement in the flow of work and the only way we can actually bring development and really almost interweave it into the flow of work is through taking a tool based approach so the what the tool does is take this whole programmatic approach that you have at a macro level and bring it into the here and now of day in a life of a leader of a manager of a team member and at that micro level the tool essentially acts as a utility to start helping these leaders these managers these the team members to go through the right set of action to actually work on the right set of developmental action the right set of performance action critical to the outcomes that they are actually going after so for us the major insight has been that really figuring out how to actually use these two approaches but bringing it into one unified very coherent approach or coherent experience if you will that put all of these together into one kind of a journey as far as the end user is concerned who could be a leader who could be a team member anyone for that matter in our course and this is where it, i think it gets very exciting uh, uh i think there is a lot of this uh, movement today uh towards uh, what's called as cbc cohort based courses um, and i think uh, and honestly i think uh, when i look at what envos does uh, is it kind of takes that a cohort based course approach which is really uh, the the post content era movement uh, that's happening typically in conventional learning and development itself is moving towards this cohort based courses approach and i believe what envers is going to start showcasing uh, is something slightly an improved version or a very effective version of cohort based approach so first thing is about uh, a distinguishing feature is really about accountability accountability of every leader every manager who is going through this experience or who is going through this journey how are we driving it through outcome orientation so we are essentially saying development does not need to be set targeting development goals it can be set 
targeting performance outcomes performance goals business goals that's really the first major thing that we are actually making a shift with and that's re- that really drives accountability you don't need to take a business leader and convince him or her to be accountable not just to their performance and to what they have signed up for in the organization but to another set of development outcomes what if you can actually use the same outcomes and get them to orient their journey towards those outcomes so so that drives much better accountability so that's first one accountability second one is interaction yeah, as i said earlier the tool based approach drives interaction obviously you need to ensure that uh, the journeys have excellent instructional design to ensure that there is opportunities for interaction but the way uh, i think we have built the network approach to leadership into nworks or the network ship way of leadership into nworks allows for interaction of these leaders with their support system now that could be their support system could be their peers their support system could be their executive coach their support system could be a mentor their support system could be their manager who or it is right and those things are always uh, dynamic in different systems different cultural systems different context in different context the support system could vary but what envox is able to do is to clearly weave in a set of interactions with the support system throughout the journey and therefore individuals are able to work on their development and then get to apply what they have developed what they have shifted what they have built as a skill into their work in service of these outcomes that they are actually going after so so that's the second one so accountability first interaction second third one is about the impact how do individuals see the impact as they actually act on things so it's not about purely learning it's not about building skills and sitting back it's really about the fact that okay if i have made some change i got to go figure out how i am going to be applying it and it's not going to be by chance that's what i initially planned for i first planned the application of the changes that I, that i'm going to bring about and then only start my journey itself so we kind of have flipped it and we have made sure that individuals are first thinking about where i'm going to be applying certain things and then committing themselves to a certain set of changes so that impact through significant shift in behavior through shift in skills through shift in the way they think all of that becomes a virtuous cycle and allows them to really inject more and more energy as they go through the journey and the the final point is about sustainability how do leaders go through this journey and at the same time build a bit of a mental muscle if you will uh in terms of doing this stuff almost by themselves and this is where i think a lot of the more recent developments around habit building habit stacking those things really come into play and i think what enworks has been able to do is really build features into its design that the uh, individuals actually into the interact tap into in addition to the progress that they get to make towards their outcome it also slowly starts to build out certain tiny habits and these habits essentially helps them to really build a certain mental muscle around how they can actually expand on their thinking how they can expand on their decision making how they can expand on surprising the choice and how they can expand on their actual execution so so accountability interaction impact sustainability these are really the distinguishing features that i see then works as a platform brings to the table so folks uh, in the session today we really took a quick look at two very orthogonal approaches the program based approach and the tool based approach and we spoke about how a converged approach has significant potential in uh solving the effectiveness issue the scalability issue and really making it very sustainable so uh a converged approach with clear design elements of accountability interaction impact and sustainability can be a powerful platform can be a powerful experience for leaders and managers to 
really improve to uh, achieve their goals at a much more elevated level. And that's really what our mission at Enworks is all about. <music>